Self-feed silage is a cost-effective way of feeding cows and in my career I've seen it for many a year on some very, very profitable farms. It helps to reduce labour and massively reduces machinery requirements. You can operate it either yourself as an owner or you can coach and encourage all the people on the farm to take some ownership to operate it themselves in your absence. So working out the cost numbers uh, would include the cost of the labour, the cost of the machinery and therefore a comparison of uh, the straightforwardness of labour here. If we look at the cost effectiveness on this particular farm and his labour utilisation is about three quarters of a million litres per person employed and this is a critical part of that because actually you know, we're not consuming hours each day having to put feed out to cows. Transitioning the animal first has to start with the calf. So what's very important is that the calf actually gets used to self-feed silage and electric fence, just as you would do if you were paddock grazing as well. If you put cows onto it without actually any education, you'll probably get the early adopters those that actually follow the early adopters and you'll get those that actually look for a, a, an easier way and, and often what happens is, is that people cop out and put ring feeders in and then they'll start putting silage into the ring feeders and the danger behind that is that those cows never want to go back and learn to be on the face. So roofing it to keep the water out, it can be a bit of a, a, a negative as well because it can dry the slurry up very quickly so there's a fine line but it was interesting because I was doing some sums earlier and sort of said that if we invested £200,000 on a roof here, over the life of the asset, it would cost less than a penny a litre. Height-wise, you shouldn't be any more than between six and six and a half feet. And this one I've measured is about six foot four. And it really needs to be about the height that the cow can actually grasp to. If you're considering sort of retrofitting, um, the one thing not to do is to go above the height of six and a half feet. And it's particularly relevant with grass silage because you're making the bottom six and a half feet more and more dense. So actually the cows can't actually make it work so well. And in addition to that, you will need bigger and bigger equipment to take the silage off the top. The suitability is at its best for autumn block. With spring calving cows, you're in danger if you're not careful of overfeeding. So probably what you would say is self-feed silage best suits those that have blocked systems rather than cows on all stage of lactation. To get the right mindset for self-feeding, go and see other farms that were practicing it. You'll actually learn of you know, the little nuances of, of how to make it actually work really well. You know, learning from other people is the best way of getting the mindset right.